Hi, I'm Mick Garris, and here at Trailers from Hell, the spotlight is on a film noir classic based on Raymond Chandler's 1944 Philip Marlowe mystery, Lady in the Lake, filmed in a very unusual process. Noir is one of my favorite genres, and Raymond Chandler is one of my absolute favorite authors. He wrote great books, and they often really make terrific movies. Lady in the Lake is the 1947 uh, MGM adaptation of this book, which was originally published in 1944. Robert Montgomery had been a pretty sturdy leading man since the late 20s, appearing more in lighthearted comedy roles than in tough guy gumshoe parts like Philip Marlowe in this picture. He's particularly funny, really hilarious in Hitchcock's Mr. and Mrs. Smith when he tries to break his own nose. But this was really an innovative film, shot entirely in Marlowe's point of view. It's probably the first time a feature film was shot that way, and in some ways I would guess that that's a precursor to movies like uh, Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield. But rather than witness through the eye of a video camera or film camera, it's witnessed through the eyes of the lead character throughout. Every single shot in this is shot through Marlowe's point of view, and the only time you see him is in shadows or in a mirror or in reaction shots, mostly in reflection. So it's a very unusual leading role for an actor who is not often seen in the film. Who invited you? I did. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Marlowe. Just when I was beginning to like you. Well, you want the facts, don't you? When it concerns a woman, does anybody ever really want the facts? This was Robert Montgomery's first movie as a director, and he pulls it off pretty well. The gimmick tends to paint him into a corner creatively sometimes, and it gets a little bit tiresome after a while, but it's still an effective little noir thriller. And not that little. MGM really gave it a big push when it came out in 47. But I love a trailer where the actor speaks to the audience in character, as Montgomery does in this. We did a little spin-off of that sort of thing when we did the Scanners trailer, though it was a scene from the movie where the character is addressing an auditorium in the film before his head explodes. This is sort of like Hitchcock giving his classic tour of the Bates Motel and House for his exhibitor's trailer that he shot for Psycho. Montgomery's a very likable guy, maybe even a little too likable to play a hard-bitten, rough-hewn, tough guy like Philip Marlowe. But Marlowe himself is one of the most played movie characters this side of Sherlock Holmes. He was portrayed by actors like Humphrey Bogart, Robert Mitchum, Elliot Gould, James Garner, Dick Powell, Powers Booth, James Caan, George Montgomery, and others. The director, Star Montgomery, was a really interesting character. He was born with that proverbial silver spoon in his mouth and moved to New York City to try his hand at writing and acting. He started in movies in 1929, and by 1935 he was elected for the first time as president of the Screen Actors Guild and then re-elected in 1942. He was a little bit of a rabid anti-communist and was a friendly witness for the House on american Activities Committee and Joe McCarthy in 1947, the same year he made Lady in the Lake. He died of cancer uh, in 1977. His daughter, Elizabeth Montgomery, famous as Samantha the Witch in Bewitched, and his son, Robert Montgomery Jr., also died of cancer, so not great family lineage. Mm -hmm. 